Where's your cup of tea? Where's your cup of tea? There it is. Oh, good. Where's mine? Here it is. Hey, y'all. Howdy. Hi, everyone. Good morning. As you morning. as you can see, we're having a light breakfast. Yeah. Very light. I'm hungry. <laughs> Who's hungry? Oh, yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. I'm fed by the word of God. Word of God is the bread of life. Thank you. Oh. Um, I'm full because of all of you. Thanks, guys. Lesson 146, review lesson 146. So coming back to the main idea, let us review. My mind holds only what I think with God. So if it's not a God thought, if it's not loving, it doesn't bring a sense of peace. If it can be changed, if it brings any kind of sense of anxiety or fear or concern, it's a... Uh, it's either an ego thought or an ego suggestion or a thought of God. The peaceful ones, the joyful ones, those are, are real thoughts. The imposters, you can just let go. You don't have to wrestle with them. You don't have to fight with them. You can just disidentify. That's not my thinking. It's not what my about, thought. So what about if I'm besieged by a deep feeling of not being enough? you know feeling terribly unworthy yeah. well i don't know what you're talking about so i'm gonna have to take a stab in the dark <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's one of the egos go to you know the more that we sh we share and join and exchange and we actually are willing to fess up what those dark thoughts that bring shame and, you know, fear to our minds, we start to laugh. Isn't that right, sis? We begin to laugh because we realize the ego has no new material. It's like really old, stale, never comes up with anything new and whispers it to all of us, same exact thing. So you start to go, oh, are you say, okay, yes, I've been under that one too. And once you get recognized, this is like staple ego material. You're unworthy. You're never going to get it. She's going to get it, but you're not going to get it. You may as well just die. You might as well just give up. Just forget it. Right? We'll start over next year. This course isn't for you. I don't like this teacher. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> you're but reading my mind. <laughs> <laughs> How does she do that? Anyway, yeah. So you know it's the ego. And it is just a program that we invented. We made it up. And all it does is pull on God's thoughts and just reverse them. It just flips it. You're you know, this, you, thank you so much for bringing this up because, yeah. okay, in the TTC, I know we're talking about it again, but in that journey and, and in the other one, the holy relationship journey we're doing as well, that's a, yeah. a long course, um, what we're seeing is, okay, before that, like what, sis just said then is that we think we've got these dark thoughts and they're private yeah. <laughs> yeah and we don't and we'd be so ashamed to share them with anybody because they would just reel back in terror horror my god what we find in in our in our interactions with our miracle buddies uh we find that wow these are not private thoughts after all everyone has them and like sis was saying they're they're not new mm -mm. they're stale they're old and hey it feels just so freeing so liberating to just lift up all of this old crap these e the egos uh, what would you call sacred cows yeah and and right just lift them up and give our sacred cows to the group yeah just to have everybody go oh it's not even real mm -hmm. and you so can feel the, yeah the ego's terror of joining it doesn't want it us to know these things if we stay apart and frightened of joining or being honest or vulnerable yeah. we're going to really believe that these are our thoughts and that they're private and we're special in our suffering that nobody else is going through this but when we're willing to trust our brother show up plunk it on the table what happens oh i'm experiencing that you are oh my god i thought this was just me no it's this is the ego oh my gosh because if you got the exact same thing and a hundred other people got the exact same message well 
you know, we're on to it, right? It's not yeah. our thinking. It's not our thinking. Mm -hmm. And then we can make that positive separation then. Yes. But if we're doing it privately, all alone, mm -hmm. you know, doing what we think un uh, mistakenly is a self-study course, mm -hmm. we're not going to get this part. No. Experience, right? That's right. Uh, yeah. Um, I have a couple of little notes I'd like to share. Do you want to read the, am I reading or are you reading? I forget. Well, um, are you reading? Uh, well, you started the lesson oh. off, I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, so let me just read, before you read your note, let me read the idea. This is the review of lesson 131. We're on 146, looking at 131 again. No one can fail who asks to reach the truth. No one can fail. No one can fail who asks to reach the truth. Now, why is this, sis? Well, a sense of failure comes from seeking completion um, or completion, pleasure, and defending ourselves from perceived threat, right? Apart from God in the gap. All fear lies within the gap. We've, we've just been talking about this the last three lessons, I think. That's what it feels like anyway. Yeah, everything's in the gap. The ego's gap, right? Um, no one can fail who asks. What does your say? No one can fail who asks. Fail who asks to reach the truth. Okay. The FIP version is no one can fail who seeks to reach the truth. Whatever. That means the same thing. Content's the same. Form is different. Yeah. So, um, you know, while we, while we still are seeking completion in the gap, while we still want to believe in the gap, well, of course, we're not wanting the truth. But once we transcend that, once we want to break through that and we want the truth, we, and we wouldn't come to lesson uh, 146, we wouldn't have made it this far unless we do seek the truth. Thank God. So mwah, big kisses and hugs. <laughs> you made it this far. You will not give up now. We're, we're going to we make won't sure you don't give up, right? Okay. We'll start calling you directly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, now we want that gap closed. We really do want that gap closed. So we're willing with God. Mm -hmm. We're not wishing with the ego anymore to be unfairly treated because while we still seek the gap <clears throat> while we still seek special relationships while we still seek all of the crap that's in the gap right we're we're going to actually be unknowingly willing with the ego to be unfairly treated that's what the whole deal is but we don't want that anymore we want to wake up we want to close the gap so now what's happening is we're actually having a daily experience of willing with God. That's the difference. We're willing with God. We're turning our focus and attention, our devotion to God's will. Mm -hmm. And now, wow, watch for the gifts. Watch yes. for the beautiful gifts, the miracles that are coming daily. That's what's happening. Yeah. Um, he says here, uh, you will find heaven. Everything you seek but this will fall away. Yet not because it has been taken from you. It will go because you do not want it. This is what Sis and I were talking about the last few lessons, right? Yes. Because you don't want it anymore. Right. You will reach the goal you really want as certainly as God created you in sinlessness. Mm -hmm. As certainly as that. That is the truth. Yeah. Heaven is here now. Right? The reflection of heaven is here now. Mm -hmm. Are we willing to feel it? Are we willing to pause, to come into alignment with Holy Spirit, our holy self? And really feel it. Yeah. Are we willing? That's all he's asking for is our willingness. Mm -hmm. Are we willing to give Holy Spirit everything, and I mean everything, that seems to block our experience of heaven here and now? That's a big question. Mm -hmm. So Jesus then says to say this, 
Today I seek and find all that I want. My single purpose offers it to me. No one can fail who seeks to reach the truth. That's it. Beautiful. Did you want to add to that, sis? No, just feel, feel that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You know, the reflection of heaven is here yeah. and now. And that's actually all there really is here and now, regardless of all of the distracting temptations of the ego. Yeah. They're not in the mind of God. They're not. Thank you, sis. Thank you. the other idea <clears throat> what did you say did there's you another idea are yeah. you sure yeah is it a good one <laughs> this one's a little iffy i think jesus was off when he gave it to us but let's do it anyway oh jesus is a little off He's laughing. It's okay. <laughs> I can hear him giggling. Yes. <laughs> it's a wicked giggle. Ooh, boy. Um, so am I reading it or are you reading it? I think you are. <laughs> like it. Oh, well, here we go. I thought it was you that was reading it. I'm happy to, sis. That's 132, okay. I loose the world from all I thought it was. Aha. Okay, so what does that mean? I relinquish the world? <laughs> <laughs> I lose my iron clasp grip on it, trying to make the unreal real, giving it all I've got, all the power in my mind, all my devotion, worshiping it. I finally, I loose the world from all I thought it was. And that I thought it was, was the mythical me, right? Yeah. We, we, we invested in this. We now realize there's nothing in the world that I want. We now realize, but there is another world that I do want. It's this one repurposed with <laughs> Holy Spirit, right? Yes. So now we, we have to make that decision. I, we're always at decision point. You can't see two worlds. So make the choice, guys. We've got to, we have to release this to accept this. That's it in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, we can do it theoretically, yeah. sure, okay. But, but what what he's asking us is, is he's asking us to go to a felt experience of this, which is we're handing over our beliefs about the world, right? That's what we're doing. We're not actually handing the world over to him. Um, so when, you know, Okay, we're giving him our beliefs about our relationships. We're giving him our beliefs about what love is and that the, the, the special rules uh, that we have believed bring us love. We're releasing all of that. We're releasing um, any ideas we have on how to raise children. Mm -hmm. Let's... Yeah. Be practical here. Yeah, sure. We have no clue, none. Uh, we're releasing that. We're releasing um, any ideas we have about the body's health or its um, its it, its uh, seeming illness or pain or any ideas about aging. Mm -hmm. We're, we're actually releasing all of these ideas. The, the idea that we have to uh, sacrifice and work in order to earn income, mm -hmm. well, that's an ego idea right there. Yeah, We're releasing that to him. We're releasing everything to him. 
all of our beliefs so that he can totally and divinely repurpose them. Yeah. Okay. I That's have sure. gratitude for this because it means that we recognize that everything that we thought before yep. isn't true. It is a projected belief. Remember the ego thought fil the filter is comprised of the ego's beliefs. And that's all that prevents us from experiencing the real world and the happy dream. So it is, it's like, I'm recognizing, I don't want this anymore. Mm -hmm. Good news. It's not true. It's not a real chain. It's not a real burden. It was a choice. Oh my gosh. Right. So I'm going to loose this world loose my relationships, loose all the idols that I clung to before. I'm just going to let that all go so that what is here can be revealed. It's a seeing what's already here. We're not responsible for making it the truth be true. There's nothing we can do to enhance the kingdom of heaven. It's already perfect. It's just that decision. This is a false belief. I recognize in my forgiveness, I loose, I let it go so that Holy Spirit can return my mind to wholeness so that I can see what's truly here. See with God. Resist the temptation to believe the ego when it says that you will lose it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The ego doesn't know at all that by, you know, by giving it to Holy Spirit, um, it doesn't realize by giving it to Holy Spirit that there's a divine exchange whereby everything is returned to us for giving Holy Spirit nothing. <laughs> I mean, okay, let's be honest. All right. What a deal. That's a bargain. <laughs> all right. Yeah. And that's what we come to experience. Yes. I'm experiencing it. You're yeah. experiencing it, sis. Yeah. And I'm sure some of you are experiencing it too, beautiful family. Yeah. May I um, just finish this up? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. By saying, I who remain as God created me, loose the body and world from all I thought it was. For I am real because the world is not. I'm going to say that again. For I am real. Yes, you. Yeah. Okay. Because the world is not. It's not real. And I would know my own reality. I lose the body and world from all I thought it was. And I choose my own reality instead. This is huge. You know, it's a felt experience. I choose my own reality instead. That's the trade. That's the beautiful divine exchange we make. Yeah. And when we receive that, because it's always love that we're receiving, what follows is that we want, we would make that exact same prayer on behalf of our brother. Oh, that's so important. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. I would loose you from all I thought you were to see the face of Christ, to see love right there, which yeah. is what you are. Mm -hmm. Felt that, sis. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thanks, family. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for sticking with us, mm -hmm. you know, through these review lessons because the ego can uh, really dig its heels in and resist these lessons. Yeah. <sighs> Anyway. I tried to resist them through me. It was like, well, let's just leave them to their own review lessons. Or <laughs> how do you pad these out? Are we just talking for talking's sake? But no, I can really feel transmissions taking place. So thank, thank you, you as we go through these together. All right. Thank you, sis. Thank you. Yeah. That was good. And I appreciate, you know, sis took the time to go back and get these um, notes. You know, everything that we do, she puts 100% of herself into it to, to bring it and make it meaningful. So thank you for going back and finding these notes that so perfectly support these ideas, sis. Thank yeah. you. Ah, uh, thank you. You know, it's my joy. Yeah, I know. I know. It's, and then you make it ours. So thank you. All right, everybody. We'll, um, thank you. we'll see you next time. Okay. Bye.
five, 